Hey, in this video, we will solve four more questions regarding GMAT. And in the first one, the statement told that x over 4 is 2 more than x over 8 and asks the value of x. So in order to do this, I will write this mathematically in an equation. So we have that x over 4 is equal to plus 2 more to plus x over 8. Now we just need to solve this equation. To solve that, I will keep this term in the left side and I will send this term to the left side of the equation, but I need to remember that I need to switch the sign of the term. So it's a plus, it will become a minus x over 8. And this two we just kept in the right side of the equation. And now we need to uh, solve the subtraction of fraction here. In order to do this, I will write both fractions using the same denominator. You can do this just by multiplying the numbers, 4 times 8, for example, that will be 32, but I prefer to write both uh, fractions using the LCM, the least common multiple. When you have two numbers and the greatest number, it's a multiple of the least number, so the greatest will be the LCM of the two numbers. This LCM will be the common denominator. When I find the common denominator, I can use this rule. I can uh, take the denominator, the, the common denominator, divide by the first denominator, and in this case, 8 divided by 4, it will be 2. Then I multiply the result by the numerator. So again, I will divide 8 by 4, that will be 2, and 2 I will multiply by x, it will be 2x. And I will keep the minus sign here, and 8 divided by 8 will be 1, and 1 times x, it will be x, and this will be equal to 2. Then you can just note, see that 2x minus x, it will be x, x over 8 will be 2, and then you can think that this 2 is 2 over 1. You can do a cross product here. x times 1, it will be x. And 8 times 2, it will be 16. So 16 is the answer of the first question, letter C. Let's go to the next one. Let me just copy and paste here. In the second question that we will solve, told us in the statement that if Mario was 32 years old, eight years ago, how old was he X years ago? Okay, so if Mario was 32 years old, eight years ago, it's because nowadays Mario is, is 40 years old. Again, 32 years old, eight years ago. So nowadays, 40 years old. So how old was he X years ago? So if nowadays he is 40 years old, uh, X years ago, he was 40 minus X years old. Let us see again, it will be the answer, okay? Let's jump to the third question of this video. In this one told that a grocer has 400 pounds of coffee in stock and 20% of which it's decaffeinated. Okay, so uh, I will evaluate the decaffeinated coffee. Uh, firstly, if we have 400 pounds and 20% it's decaffeinated, so uh, what is the amount of decaffeinated coffee regarding this 400 pounds? Let's find out. It will be 20% off in mathematics can be translated as a product. So. 20% off something, it's 20% times something. In this case, it's 20% times 400. And the amount here will be what? Okay, we can cancel out the zeros uh, from the 100 in the denominator with the 400 in the numerator. I cancel out both uh, zeros from 100 with the two zeros from 400. And now I just have 20 times 4. 
because the denominator is 1. So 20 times 4, it will be 80. So from this 400 pounds, 80 pounds, it's decaffeinated, okay? Okay. Then the question told that if the grocers buy another 100 pounds of coffee, of which 60% 6, it's decaffeinated. So 60% of a new 100 pounds that he bought, it's decaffeinated. So we can cancel out the zeros again. And I will multiply 60 times 1. That will be 60 pounds uh, are decaffeinated. Okay. Then the question asks, what percent by weight of the grocer's stock of coffee is decaffeinated? Okay. As you can see, the amount of coffee that the grocer has now can be evaluated as 400 plus 100. So the grocer has 500 pounds of coffee in the stock. And the amount of decaffeinated coffee from that stock, it will be 80 plus 60. So it will be 140 pounds. So the amount of decaffeinated coffee, it's 140 pounds. And we just need to find out what is the percent uh, of a 500 will be equal 140. I will write this question mathematically. So I can ask what is the percent x percent of 500 that is the stock of coffee from the grocer what percent of 500 will be equal 140 okay we can find the answer just solving this equation and i will again i will cancel the zeros and i will have x times 5 that will be 5x equal 140 then once this x is multiplying the x in order to find the x i just need to send this 5 to the right side of the equation and the 5 will do the opposite of multiplication that will be division so i will have 140 divided by 5 so let's divide 140 by 5 and we can think how many times 5 goes in 14 and 5 goes in 14 two times because 5 times 2 it's 10 and 14 minus 10 it will be 4. I will drop this 0 and I have 40 now and I can ask how many times 5 goes in 40 it will be 8 times 5 times 8 it will be 40 and 40 minus 40 it will be 0. So the quotient that means the result it will be equal 28. So 28% of coffee uh, from the stock, it's decaffeinated. Okay, so letter A will be the answer. And let's go to the last question from this video, okay? In the last one, the statement told that the tall T in dollars for a truck using a certain bridge, it's given by the formula T, it will be equal 1.5 plus 0 0.5 times x minus 2, where x is the number of axles of the truck. So the question asks, what is the toll for a 18-wheel truck that has two wheels on its front axle and four wheels uh, on each of its other axles? Okay, so let's go. Let's think about. We have the formula to evaluate the toll. And the question told us that the truck will be a 18 wheel truck with two wheels in the front. So in the first axle, I just have two wheels and four wheels on each other axle. So in, a, in total, I need to have 18 wheels. So I have two in front again. And for example, I have four wheels in the next axle. So here I have six wheels, as you can see, one more. Now we have 10, and remember, we need to have 18. 
So let's continue. One more. The total now it will be 14. And if we include one more, we get 18 wheels. So we have 18 wheels, two wheels in the front, and four wheels by axle in the other uh, axles from the truck. Okay, so in total we have the 18, but what matters here is how many axles we have. So we have one, two, three, four, and five axles. So we can change this five axles in the formula that the question gave us. Okay, so let's do this. So the tall will be 1.5 plus 0 0.5. As you can see, this zero does not matter because it's after the point. So that's the why I'm not writing the zero here. Times the x will be five minus two, and then the tall will be 1.5 plus. Remember, you need to solve the parentheses firstly, okay, in a mathematical expression. So I will solve the parentheses firstly, and 5 minus 2, it will be 3. Then the tall will be 1.5 plus 0 0.5 times 3, it will be 1.5. And finally, the value of the tall will be 1.5 plus 1.5, it will be $3. And the answer will be letter B. Okay. I hope you enjoy this video and I wish to see you in the next one. Bye bye. Have a great day.